Good day, Tragic here, and welcome to my latest mod for Legends of Andor this time. Oh yeah, very cool game. Now, some of you may know I've kind of fallen out of the tabletop simulator scene. I still play it all the time, playing games, but my interests have just moved on from modding. Now, I'm still modding just for my own pleasure, but uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not spending as much time modding. And I have... A huge amount of half completed mods. I've got like an Arkham mod, I've got like a Sejikaris mod, I've got like Yido mods, I've got you know Mars mods, I've just got tons and tons and tons of mods that are just half done. And this is one of them. So what I thought I'd do is release what I've got. Now this mod has only two legends, Legend 1 and Legend 2. And I'm about to do a playthrough of Legend 2 on my digital board game channel. And as I do each Legend, I will update the next Legend to this mod. So this will eventually have all the Legends. And I actually own all the content for Andor, so it'll eventually have the two expansion, like the expansions. Like the, this one already has, you can see it's got all the all the character expansions. And, you know, I've got, so whatever. The point is, is we'll eventually have the lot. And what will happen is eventually you'll have like the actual game boxes up the top here so you can click on which game box you want to use but for now it simply works like this you have your female heroes on this side okay and you've got the male heroes on this side and i've put them in order of uh rank or whatever it's called yeah rank so that's rank 29 this one is rank 14 and that makes a difference for movement now, uh, I've also included a bunch of stuff up the top. Uh, we've got the Drunken Troll expansion. We've got the uh, Brothers Shield expansion and stuff like that. So the instructions are all here how to use them. And I've also provided flat tokens as well as the standy tokens. We've got like the, the Spectre. Plus, if you're playing with more than four players, you've got to click on these unpacks to add these boards so they kind of come down and replace the board so the way it works is you have the the bags here so say i want to play legend 2 i just click unpack like so and out comes all the stuff for the setup and it gets you ready to start okay now this has a quite a large map it takes a little bit to load uh like i said I make these mods pretty much for myself, and if other people like them, they like them. If this is a huge problem, I might reset, make a smaller res version of the map, but I like the big red version. Then what you do, you just come down. I've put two dice here just to help people randomize their heroes if they want to play random heroes. So red is the hero, uh, uh, black is the hero for me. And red is odds or even, so odds are male. So if I go blammo, I just give that a roll. I rolled a five and an eight, so that's five even. So that's a female. One, two, three, four, five. And there you go. I've got the, you know, the, the archer. And you just place this wherever you want it. So I've created like little rollers for everything. So you can just click on the roller. The amount of times you click is the amount of dice that will roll. And if you have the chat window open, it will print. It prints to the main screen as well. So you can just do whatever you need to do. Of course, we have the black roller here. And we have the, you know, the, the monster rollers. Plus, at the top, you've got uh, some dispensers. So if you want a... a, a a black roller for your guy just drag out the rollers that as you need you've got infinite coins we've also got spirit die rollers for those people who are using the spirit die and it's pretty much the way it goes so the actual monster bags are hidden over the pictures so if i just drag from the troll out comes a troll and you can see he's a uh, uh, a standy now if you put, if you're going to use standees, set it to like 30 degrees or something, and that way you can turn it on its side. And 
that's just if you want to use standees. I don't particularly like standees. I, I made it with standees to begin with, but I decided against it. If you don't like the standees, you can press this little button here that says set flat figurines. You just click it and that'll switch you to flats. So now when you drag out, everything is flat. And that's just easier for me to see. And of course, all the standees are given flats and stands. So I don't know what happened to, it's probably underneath there, but uh, they all have their flat and their standy versions when you're picking them up from this side of the table. Anyway, once you've got everything that you want, you just hit the clean up and that will delete these things just to clear the memory if you want. And you're pretty much ready to play. So you've got your, your stores up here and that's pretty much it. So basically all the settings for you, we've got a little draw event button that'll just draw the events just to make it a little bit quicker for you. And these are just manually drawn as you need them. So these are all my own, I've, I've done all the scans and everything myself. There's only a couple of uh, stuff taken. Like I think I took this, uh, this castle object. I modified a little bit from an existing mod. I'll put the links in the description, but if you wish to play the full of Andor, there are actually other mods with the legend of Andor content. They just don't have my scripts and my setup. So if you want to import stuff into your mod or whatever, just to go for it. Eventually this will have everything in it. And that's pretty much uh, the mod. So you've got little dice rollers. You've got the automatic setups. Oh, you know what else I've done? I've put like a little uh, shields over here that block these things so you can't see them. So we're playing a four player game. So this one would be revealed. And then it's just easier to see how many shields you've got. And then if you're playing with farmers, you can, when you place the farmer, just stick it on top like that, lock it down, you know exactly how many shields you've got to work with. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it. Also for, uh, you know, the things like the witch's token and the prince token, again, you've got the standy versions and you've also got the flat versions, just depending on how you want to, uh, which one you want to use. Same for uh, the black presence. You see, you can have the flat version. So these, the black presence basically just sits down here and just modifies all the strength values. And same for the, the drunk control. Well, that's the instructions, but uh, yeah, you've got a flat drunk control and you've got a standy one. Also, uh, just one more thing. If you want to play with more people, like say, say if I look down here, that value there gets changed by hitting this unpack. So if I want to play six players, I just hit unpack for eight players. Bam. And out comes the legend of Andor. And you can see, see this, this is now changed. It's sort of inserted this little thing inside the, the track. So it's a bit, uh, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. And of course, if you don't like that, you can just unpack it or whatever, pack up. And you can do it for the five players. This just modifies what this track means. And that's pretty much the mod. Like I said, it's not complete and I'm pathologically lazy, so it might be a long time before it's updated, but there you go. See you guys next time.